Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Luke Redden. In this video, I'm going to show you how I mix and master my beats. Let's go. So first of all, I need to mention that I have two different ways to master my beats, which is this two preset from my 2023 drum kit. You can download only this two preset for free. Link is in description. And the first one is just for crispy beat, and the second one is for punchy beat. And I will show you two different projects with both presets in this video. Let's go. So first we have this beat that I use the second preset. First of all, when you want to start the drum, you need to add the default soft clipper on your master. Then add the low cut on your sample. Make sure you cut everything under 200 because we don't want our A to clash with the low frequency of the sample. And for the level of the sample, I mostly keep that under 12 or 18. And in this speed, it's almost under 12. <laughs> And for the drum, I usually start with the hi-hat. I try to keep my hi-hat under 9. Next, we have clap and snare. If you have more than one, you need to make a boss channel for them to level them easier. And then select your claps and snare and click on this option, root to this track only. Now you can level all of them in one channel. I usually keep them on negative 3. And in this speed is almost 5 because 3 is too much for this one. Next we have the 8 hood that I use the go to 3 most of the time and I try to keep that between 0 to plus 2. <laughs> If you use the spins, you can keep that from 0 to plus 3, it's kind of optional. And for other sound like open hand, snare, and percussion, it depends on yourself. Try to keep them under 9 or 12. Now after you level your drum, you need to go on your master. If you want to make the master preset from scratch, here is how I did that. First we have the EQ, I boost the high frequency almost 0.6 decibel. And after that we have a limiter. First turn the envelope knob all the way down. Then turn the selling all the way up and put the soft saturation on almost negative 4 or 5. Then just add less than 2 decibel gain. This limiter method make your beat sound more punchy. I suggest that for the beat that have hard kick and punchy 808s. Also, if you want, you can turn your high frequency up from this equalizer. I boost the high frequency almost 2.2 this year. Here is how the beat with and without the master preset sound like. <laughs> Okay, now let's show you the mixing with the first preset, which is for the crispy beat that have more high frequency. Here we have this beat. For leveling, we're going to use the same numbers. Here we have the sample. As you saw that was under 12, we have 3 clap and snare here that I made a boss channel for them. It's hitting on almost 9 because 3 or 6 was too much for that and I decreased that a little bit. We don't need to use the same number for all your beats. In some projects, it's a little bit different. Next, you have open hands. First one hit on almost 18 and second one is too low and the hi-hat Almost between 18 to 12 and the last time we have the 8 to that I use the spin 8 the original spin sample 
I just boost that up almost 6% and in the pattern the velocity is all the way up and as you see the speed is almost on zero also I use another 8 weight in first part of the beat and this is how it sounds like and I keep this one on almost 3 ok now let's show you the master first we have an EQ that I boost the high frequency exactly 2 decibel after that we have another EQ I repeat that again boost the high frequency 2 decibel and the last plugin we have soft filter with this setting the threshold is on negative 45.7 and the post is on 90% also I boost the high frequency almost 2.8 decibel from this equalizer and this is how this piece sound with and without the preset One thing you may notice in this bit was the low frequency on the sample that I turned the equalizer off because sometimes I like to keep the low frequency of the sample and add it together. Now I'm going to make a drum live and mix that for you. I want to use a loop, so let's just stop. First, we need to add the low cut on the sample. Maybe I turn that off later. And I start with the soft filter on the master. I will drop the preset on the master when I start to level it. So now the a doesn't sound good enough with the bass frequency, so I turn the equalizer on. Okay, now I want to add another A to it in second pattern, maybe a long A to it. If you have more than one A to it, make sure you make the cut itself number same. So first, go over here on the first sample and remember the number, then go to the second sample and make the number same. When the first A to it ends, the second A to it will cut that so they don't clash together.
Okay, now let's start the mixing. First, we need the preset. Now I think the second preset is better for this one. I just push the high frequency a little bit. Now let's start the leveling. Sample is around 18. Now let's start the high hat. I think 12 is good enough for high hat and now snares. I think 8 is enough for the SNR. Now let's go on the 8 way. is almost under the zero it's around negative two or one now let's go on second a toy i keep this one on almost six now percussion and open hats I keep the percussion and open hat on almost negative 6 and the snare roll between 6 to 3. Now I'm going to create automation from the equalizer to turn that off in the intro. As I said, you can get this to preset free in the description. Also, if you don't like to use preset, you can just add a default soft clipper on your master. That's good enough to make clean beat with that. And yeah, that was my mixing process. Hope you learned something. Let me know what type of video you want for the next video. Video. See you. Make it sure that everybody see me a lot of dope. Coming out the pockets of my jeans. Yeah, I'm riding slow. Make it sure that everybody see me. Oh my god, the legend.